excited, Stinky. I am too. Oh, the poppets are watching, dear. Oh, hello, my little poppets. Welcome to story time. Well, Stinky and I are very, very excited because Stinky's sister, Bo, is coming up to spend a couple of days with us. With us and Stinky has just been excited all day because she's going to be arriving very, very soon and they've got lots of things planned. They want to stay up late and watch movies and eat popcorn and Stinky's talking about having a, bit, a midnight feast which I'm not pleased about because uh, once you brush your teeth Stinky you shouldn't really eat anything else until the morning. And my little poppets, it's a bit of a challenge to brush Stinky's teeth. He doesn't like it very much and he likes to fight me. He likes to do it himself. But the thing is, he has a little bit of trouble managing the toothpaste on the brush. So it's best if I sort of give his teeth a scrub for him. And what I said to Stinky is that if he's a good boy and if he goes to bed when he's supposed to and picks up all his toys and puts them back in the toy box, then at the end of the week he could have a reward and he's got a star chart at the moment which we've made so every time he does something that he's supposed to we get a little star and we stick it on his chart although stinky i have to say um i found some of the star stickers missing i don't suppose you know where they are what's that you put them all on the chart already oh stinky that's not how it works dear you only put one on when you do something good. So if you pick your toys up and do as you're told and you've been a good boy, you put a star there. What's that? You haven't been a very good boy. No, well, you have been a little bit naughty the last couple of days, but you've been a good boy today, all right then? Yes. Well, anyway, uh, speaking of doing, getting ready for bed and all sorts of things and uh, doing last minute things and stories before you pop off to bed, today's story is called, my little poppets, Good Night Mice. And thank you, Stinky Dear. Good night, mice. And I have to say, my little poppets, it's quite a challenge getting Stinky off to bed. I don't know how I'm going to manage with Stinky or Bo, but we'll just have to see. So, Stinky, you get nice and comfy down there. Oh, I forgot to mention the story cake. I'm so sorry. And this one, I didn't make this one. I don't know where the... I think Stinky may have made this one. And there's a lovely mouse on the front and I have to say my little poppet she looks very familiar what's that she the mouse moved are you sure let me have a look the mouse moved no I don't think it moved did it oh wait a minute it feels awfully soft it feels awfully soft wait a moment <gasps> is that you Bo oh Bo you tricked me dear how long have you been on the cake you've been on there for quite a while Oh, you've got a sticky tail, dear. Yes, I'm very excited to see you. It's wonderful. Did you have a good trip? You did. What's that? You're a little bit hungry. Oh, no, you're not going to have that just yet. You're going to have to wait because think you'll want some if you have some now. Can you wait to be a good girl? What's that? You can't wait to give Stinky a big hug and a kiss. Oh, you're a lovely mouse. You really are. And I'm so excited that you've come here. Now, Bo, you're just in time because it's story time. And I'm just about to read a story to the poppets. So you can get under the story tree with Stinky, dear. And you can listen to the story. All right, then? Yes, wonderful. Oh, wonderful to have Bo and Stinky together so they can get comfy under the story tree. Well, two mice in the house. Good night, mice. Well, that's what I'll be doing tonight, getting those two off to sleep, hopefully. Oh, I don't like the chances of getting those two off to sleep, I have to say. And here we go, my little poppets. Deep in the forest, at the base of a tree, a light is shining. What could it be? Peek in a tiny window, peer through the tiny door at four tiny mice. You are sitting on the floor. Oh, they're sitting on the floor. And look at that. Night time and a dark sky with lots of stars. Getting ready for bed, or hopefully. Mitzi is weary and Billy is sleepy. Clementine's teary and Oliver's weepy. The mice are too grisly and tired to play. It's time to put all the toys away. See, Stinky, you must put your toys away before bed. Mitzi yawns once, Billy yawns twice, Mum and Dad say, it's time for bed, mice. Time to put the toys away and get ready for bed. Oh. Yes, it's wonderful to go to bed, especially when you've had a long and busy day. Grandpa snuffling, snoring, snoozing, a dozy after dinner nap. 
He's woken by wriggling, giggling four little mice are on his lap. Kiss Grandpa once, kiss Grandpa twice. Good night, Grandpa. Sleep tight, mice. Oh, look at them all. How on earth are they ever going to get those mice off to bed? They don't look very tired to me, I have to say. No, they don't look sleepy at all. Rush up the stairs with a jump and a hop. Mitzi and Billy race to the top. Climb up the banister, slide down the rail. Oliver's falling, saved by a tail. Skittery skipping all the way. Now the mice are ready to play. Mum sighs once, Dad sighs twice. What happened to those sleepy mice? Well, my little poppets, they don't look very sleepy. Look at that. How on earth are poor Mum and Dad going to get them off to sleep? I don't know. Perhaps they need some warm milk or something like that. Oh, they look like they're full of beans, full of energy. Splish, splash, and into the tub. Playtime first, and then we scrub. Sailing boats, serving tea, a duck that floats, a stormy sea. And there they are getting nice and clean before they get ready for bed. It's wonderful to have a hot bath. I know Stinky likes to have a hot bath. And they've got boats there and they're having tea parties in the bath. How marvellous. Wash whiskers once, wash whiskers twice. Behind our ears, Mum, squeaky clean mice. When it's Clementine's turn, she's always good. She sits still and quiet, like a good mouse should. Oliver says he's nearly grown up. He can do it on his own. But Oliver's washing ends in tears. There's soap in his eyes and his nose and his ears. Well, that does happen sometimes. I know when I'm trying to give Stinky's fur a bit of a wash, he complains about soap and shampoo getting in his eyes. Oh, it's quite a task to get Stinky washed. Rubber dub dry from ears to elbows. Rubber dub dry from tail to tum. Wrapped in towels from toes to whiskers. Now the only wet mice are Dad and Mum. Toothpaste on chin and toothpaste on nose. Toothpaste on whiskers and Oliver's toes. Oh yes, what a mess. Water everywhere and toothpaste everywhere. I bet there is. Up trying to clean those teeth on those mice. Poor Dad, he's covered in toothpaste. Oh, going to have a bath himself. Skipping and skittering up the hall. Skidding and sliding and careful, don't fall. Scampering, scampering, scurrying fun. So many ways for mice to run. And there they are and they still look very energised. Look at that. They don't look sleepy at all. Oh, full of beans. Pajamas on and then we'll look for the perfect bedtime book. Button up once, button up twice, you missed a button dad. Spotty, stripy mice. Clementine, Clementine, where are your whiskers? Clementine, Clementine, where is your nose? I see Clementine's twitching tail. I see Clementine's ticklish toes. I don't have any buttons. Well, finally, the mice have got their pyjamas on at long last. Hopefully, they're almost ready to go to sleep. I do feel sorry for Mum and Dad, I have to say. Poor things, they look absolutely exhausted. Quickly, mice, hop into bed if you want your story read. Read the story once, read the story twice, read it again, Dad. That's enough, mice. It certainly is. That is enough. Stories are read and it's time for sleep. Yes, time to be tucked up tight and to go to sleep. Now heads on pillows and eyes closed tight. It's time for mice to say good night. Good night, Mitzi, with a twitchy nose kiss. Sweet dreams, Billy, with a tight furry hug. Good night, Clementine, cuddly little miss. Tuck in baby Oliver, warm and snug. And there they are, giving mum and dad a kiss and a hug good night before they go off to sleep. Thank goodness, I hope they stay in bed. Turn out the lights and away we creep. Don't make a sound, not even a peep. At the base of a tree in a forest deep, four little mice are fast asleep. Good night, mice. And there they are, at long last, my little poppets, tucked up tight in bed and fast asleep. Well, that was called Good Night Mice. And there it 
is there a very good one I did enjoy that I have to say well my two little mice are down here I'll have a chat to stinky first I think it looks like Bo's fallen asleep must be from her long journey I think she's very very tired well stinky did you enjoy the story dear you did that's wonderful what's that Bo's here yes I know did she enjoy the story what's that she fell asleep pretty quick Yes, well I suppose she's very, very tired. She did have a long trip up, Stinky. So you might want to let her rest a bit before you have all your fun and games before bed tonight. Well, my little poppers, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed that story. I certainly did. And you know what? You want to wish me some luck because I don't like my chances of getting Stinky and Bo off to sleep early. I think they're going to be up very, very late. I'll tell you what. Oh, I could certainly do with an early night, but I don't think I'm going to get one. What's that? I always want to have an early night. Yes, well, it's hard work looking after you, Stinky, and I need my beauty sleep. What's that? I need an awful lot of beauty sleep. Oh, Stinky, you're a cheeky fellow. You really are. Well, as always, my little poppers, thank you so much for watching. Please take care, and perhaps you could make your own uh, story time cake with a mouse on top and some cheese or perhaps you could read a book about some mice. And as always, take care, and until next time, bye.